Flibanserin, the first prescription drug to boost sexual desire in women, has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Trading under the name Addy, the pills were developed by a small company in North Carolina called Sprout Pharmaceuticals. Previously, the FDA rejected the drug twice due to lackluster benefits and worrisome side effects. We're delighted to have the first ever approved drug for this condition, women's most common sexual dysfunction, and it really has been such a cooperative process with the FDA to come to appropriate language in the label to inform patients not only of the benefits or the risk. The new drug's label will carry a bold warning that combining Addy with alcohol can cause dangerously low blood pressure and fainting. But not everyone will be celebrating the FDA's decision. Opposition group The New View campaign has published a song about rejecting flibanserin called Throw That Pink Pill Away. It's the bone drug and the bone team, though they've passed the... The New View campaign claim it's a case of big business producing an ineffective drug to create demand and then chase vast profits. Throw that pink pill away. It's just a mishmash of politics and science and sex and money, 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 money. Follow the money. Opponents also argue that Sprout has spuriously turned the issue into one of women's rights, thereby manipulating the FDA to act in their favour. But Whitehead argues that politics and sexism are the reasons that drugs like Addy aren't being developed, and says that Sprout is giving users the facts. I say to them that science won the day today. We look to the evidence and we listen to patients. And what we know is that one in ten women suffer from HSDD and we have always believed that provided the FDA finds a treatment to be safe and effective, women deserve to make that choice with their health care provider.